An incredibly popular web browser among the Android developer community has just recently rolled out a new update that adds a way to move the address bar from the top of the screen down to the bottom. This is a web browser that I have been wanting to recommend here on the channel for a long time and was the main inspiration for a previous tutorial I did showing you how to install the F-Droid application store on your smartphone or tablet. So in today's video, I want to introduce you to an open source browser, web browser called Bromite. Now Bromite is a fork of the Chromium web browser, which is what Chrome from Google is built on top of. The goal of this web browser is to provide a no clutter browsing experience on Android without having to worry about privacy invasive features. The developers have built a fast ad blocking engine on top of that, but still the focus has been on keeping Bromite from becoming a browser as an advertisement platform. So let's get started and let me show you how to get Bromite installed on your device using F-Droid. So by now, if you have not installed the F-Droid application, I'll be linking to a separate video tutorial that I have done previously showing you how to install this particular app store. F-Droid is an open source app store that is only going to be providing applications that are also open source. However, we also need to add in a custom repo to F-Droid so that it is easy to not only install the Bromite web browser, but also to update the applications when a new update comes out. So first let's open up F-Droid. And when we open up F-Droid, it's going to do a refresh of the repositories that it currently has. But again, we are going to add our own. So we're gonna tap the settings button down here at the bottom and we're going to add our own custom repository by tapping the repositories option right here. Once we are here, we're going to tap the plus button at the top right. And we're going to add two different things. We're going to add a repository address and then a fingerprint. So we can find that by going to the bromite.org slash fdroid website. I'll be linking to this in the video description below. And what we want to do is we want to copy this address from this field. And we're going to put it right in here in the repository address input box. Now we're going to go back and you're going to see this fingerprint key right here. We're going to long press that and tap copy as well. And we're going to put that right in the fingerprint box. So now we're going to tap add and you should see the bromite repository being added right here. Not only that, but you should also see F droid begin to update their repositories. After a few seconds, that update notification should be gone and we can go back from settings to the latest tab, and then just do a pull down so that we can manually update those repositories again. After you have manually updated those repositories, you can, if you want, you can go back into the repository list to make sure that this title has changed over to the Bromite official F-Droid repository. But we can also double check that by going in searching from within the F-Droid application. We're just going to search for Bromite. And you should see this option up here now. And because we have added the Bromite repository to F-Droid, F-Droid is now going to act like a app store 
and allow us to install the latest version of this web browser. Not only that, but whenever an update is pushed out, you're going to get an update notification from the F-Droid App Store. So now we have installed Bromite and we can open it up like normal and start using the web browser just as you would expect. Some of the popular features that are included in the Bromite web browser include the aforementioned customizable ad block filters, ad block filters that update on their own. It removes both click tracking and AMP results from search results. It includes DNS over HTTPS support with any valid IETF DOH endpoint and always on incognito mode. Smart search has been disabled by default to improve the privacy of the web browser and much, much more. I'll be including a detailed list of all of the features supported by the Bromite web browser down in the video description below. But if you remember at the start of this video, I mentioned a specific feature where the address bar could be moved to the bottom. This is a brand new feature to the web browser. So let me show you how that works right now. We're gonna tap the three dot menu icon so that we can dive into the settings. And we can find this new feature in the accessibility section with a checkbox labeled move toolbar to the bottom. Once that's enabled, we're gonna relaunch the web browser. And now you see the address bar has just been moved down to the bottom for quicker and easier access. That wraps up my video on the latest update to the Bromite web browser. I'm a big fan of this browser. It is fast, very privacy focused. And again, something that is incredibly popular among the developer community and the Android enthusiast community. And that is how you can install it very easily and manage the installation using the popular F-Droid app store.